Hey there, Hassan here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can start adding custom tokens to MetaMask using JavaScript or React. As you can see on the screen right now, we have five buttons, and when you click on a specific button, it will add that token to your wallet. If you look at my MetaMask, I have the CHD, the Gala, and the CXV token added to the wallet which are the first, second, and the third. I want to add the last token, the sushi. All I need to do is just click on the button. And here we have add suggested token, add token. And the second last, the fresh token. In the similar way, add the token. Now I have added the frax and the sushi token as well to my wallet. So let's get to the practical part of it, how we can implement this using code. So as you can see, I have opened Visual Studio Code and the browser and have installed the React application, created and installed the React application using the command npx, create a React app and the name of the app, which can be anything. So the application is right now running on port 3000. Let's get started with developing the the solution for a problem uh, i'm going to start with removing all the files in the src folder except for the app.js and the index.js and remove a few imports from the app.js and the index file Now we have a clean page. Let's go ahead and add some text. Add token to MetaMask wallet using JS. For the token button, I'm gonna create a new component. For that, I'm gonna create a new file. I call it token adder.js. Let's return a button from this component for now. And the only prop this component is expecting is an address of the token. Great. Let's add the component here. So we need to provide it with an address which we can easily get on the internet. We will be using an ERC20 token so you can easily find ERC20 token list. And over here, this one block block Z info. Let's let's get the Shiba Inu. And here's the contact address. I've added it. Okay. Let me add a, few, a little padding uh, above the button on the header component. So the first thing that we have to do is get all the token info once the component loads or mounts on the screen, which is which we'll do using the use effect hook and providing it zero dependencies. I'm going to create a new function. And within the function, let me add a try catch statement. Try catch block. Let's create state for the token and set it to null for now. So we need to fetch name and decimals. For fetching the data of the token, we need to first create a Web3 instance. So we need to install a package for that, which is npm install Web3. I've already installed the package. I'm 
been provided with a RPC link. So you can easily get that from the ethereumnotes.com website. And I'm gonna use the, the one from Cloudflare. Now that we have the Web3 instance, let's create a contact instance. So that we can, we can interact with that contract. Need to provide it two parameters the first is the abi the other is the address we already have the address but we need the abi we'll be actually using three functions and those three functions are universal across all erc20 tokens so i will be providing the abi in the description of, of this video for now i'm just going to copy it from the notepad i have saved it So here is the ABI. And as you can see, we have one, the name function, for the name function, then for the decimal, and then finally for the symbol. So let's provide the ABI and then the address. Okay, now we have the instance of the contract. We need to use it to fetch the name, symbol, and decimals. Providing it with an array, the first promise is going to be uh, contract dot eat. Um, actually, not contract dot eat. Contract dot method dot in the name of the function name dot all. Then we will be doing it the same for symbol and decimals. Let's print out the data on the console row. Here we have it. The name Shiba Inu, symbol SHIB and 18 decimals. Now that we have the data, let's set the token state. If it fails, let's set the token to false. Now that we have the name of the token, we can sh display it over here. But it depends if the token is not null and false. Token dot name or loading token. Now the final thing that we have to do is adding the click handler to the button. On click, add token, another function we'll be creating right now. Let's add a loading state. As soon as we start adding the token, we'll be setting the loading to true. Another try catch block. Once we are done with it, we're gonna set the loading to false. Okay, now we need to check if the user has MetaMask installed on their browser or not. For that, we're gonna make use of a library provided from MetaMask. Let's install that npm install at the rate metamask detect provider. So here it's going to check if the provider is available or not. If it's not available, we are going to return. An alert exit the function with an alert that like, please install metamask you see else we are going to connect with a metamask
it underscore request accounts. Now that we have connected our wallet, we will uh, do, do another request to the pro provider. This time the request is going to be for adding a token or an asset to the watch list. Wallet underscore watch asset. We need to provide a few parameters. The first is the type, and this is going to be an ERC20 and a few options. Address the symbol it's going to come from the token dot symbol, and finally the decimals, which is going to come from the token dot decimals. With that being done, this part here will add that specific token to our wallet. But if we, uh, we get an error, we're going to let the user know alert. One mistake I made is that we know we shouldn't return from here because if we do return, it's not going to execute this line and the application or the button will keep on loading. So instead of this, we're going to put an else statement. Finally, if they face, uh, the code faces any errors in the try block, we're gonna let the user know, unable to add the token. Okay. Now over here, let's disable this button if the application is loading or if there is no token yet fast. And finally, I think it's done. Let's try it out. Okay, perfect. Add ship, add token. And here we have the token has been added to our wallet. Now, of course, you can uh, output this component over a map function with multiple addresses and have a list of buttons as well. Which I had, which I had done in the initial demo. So that's it. That's how you can add a custom token to your MetaMask using JavaScript.